Good afternoon. I'm absolutely honored and delighted to be here to report on some progress that we've made over the past couple of years. In 2011, Merck committed to a comprehensive cervical cancer prevention program to help save lives in developing countries. In partnership with Rwanda, we were able to offer our HPV vaccine Gardasil to eligible girls across the country. This is important because HPV causes most cases of cervical cancer, and cancer of the cervix is the most common cancer among women in Rwanda. Our partnership allowed the Rwandan government to be the first country in Africa to make available widespread immunization to eligible girls. Their bold leadership and their commitment, along with the three-year supply of free doses of Gardasil and programmatic support from many partners, including Merck, Rwanda government was able to launch this program and achieved impressive coverage. In 2012, 96% of all girls across the country received all three doses of their Gardasil, a record <laughs> is worth applauding. That is a record that exceeds that in many developed countries. But the, the program not only helped provide HPV vaccination to girls and prove that it's possible to do this in a resource-limited country, but it strengthened the overall adolescent platform for health and health improvement in Rwanda and I think is a great model for elsewhere. Today, as a result of these efforts, Rwanda is well poised to transition its program from one based on free doses to a sustainable funding model in conjunction with the Gavi Alliance. We're really proud at Merck to have been a part of this and we look forward to continuing our partnership with governments and foundations and stakeholders, experts, and in particular, citizens of people around the world to make this life-saving intervention available to more girls. Thank you.